What's up, everybody? It's your boy JD back again with another video. Y'all know what time it is. So, time to hop back in that teenage mercenary, aka mercenary Roman, aka smoke mercenary. Y'all know what time it is. So, we're about to go ahead and get into it, see what's in store for us today. But before we do, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Want to take support any further? Patreon link is in the description below. Also, join our top game membership and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a video or go live on each channel. So, let's go ahead and get into it, man. I heard you were working. I didn't realize this was the place. You're looking sharp. I guess it's not too bad around here. Just know we've always got a spot for you. Let me know if you ever change your mind. What is Mr. Sugbay doing here? You see, wait, did you borrow money from him? That's right. I had to find someone who can give me a private loan to help with the cleaning. Oh, help with cleaning up after Hansu and the trouble he's been causing. It hasn't been that long, but his interest rates have already shot up. I had no idea things would end up like this. So you want to have employees pro Oh, so you want to have employees provoke people into fights and have them pay the settlement money. Then if they can't pay off that settlement, you would give out private loans. That's the business model you wanted to use when you suggested I join your organization. That's right, the money I lend out will come right back to me as settlement money. And it only requires a small amount to start. As you know, it hasn't been long since I opened up my business. You need money to make money. And for the time being, this was the best way to make huge profits quick. My business has already making a name for itself out there. We don't even have to start fights that often. And we're still making a profit. Is that what you did to Han Su? It's just business. Nothing personal. How much? Hmm? It's probably already over 40 million won by now, and the principal was 30 million. That much? Even after he's been paying it off. How high is the interest rate? Dushik, what is it that you want to say here? Sir, please, think of it as a favor from me. Couldn't you just let him off easy this time? Dushik, if I make an exception for him, I have to do it for everyone else. That will only make it harder to do business for me. If I pick and choose who I make exceptions for, it will be total chaos. He's got a point, technically. All right, I need to see how much I got saved up if I can just withdraw about a month's worth of rent. If you join us and do some work for me, I'll consider the loan paid off. I wanted to give up that much just to recruit you, Dushik. And just so you know, I wouldn't do this for anyone else. Thank you, sir. Poor Dushik, bro. Poor Dushik. All this for this no good bastard who stabbed us in the goddamn back. Your room. What happened? Does your grandpa suddenly just fainted? The doctors are saying he might not wake up. What? Why did he faint? Did something happen to him? No. It's just that he couldn't pay back the loan he took out, so he got his shop taken away from him. The shop from it all just was too much for him. Loan? What are you talking about? Everything's paid off for. Did he borrow more money? No, he didn't take out another loan. But business has been slow, and the interest just kept rising. So he got the whole shop taken away because he put it up for collateral. What the hell is going on? The boss said that he would just call the whole loan off. Does that mean he lied to me? What about the money I sent? He could have completely paid off the interest with that. Grandpa said that he never touched that money, saying that you put so much work into earning it. After he found out about why you quit the shop, he said he was too ashamed to face you. It really ate him up inside. He even worked harder, saying that he would pay off the loan and bring you back to the shop. He worked late nights doing hard labor at the factory. Too ashamed to face me? I was so sure that he turned away because he didn't want to see me anymore.
you said you will forget about the loan. Dasha, do you take my business for a joke here? I told you, if I were to make exceptions for people, I wouldn't be able to run my business. Mm. And that's how we got the scar. And that's how we got the fucking scar. Knock his ass out. Not, that's what I'm talking about. Now kill him so he won't get up again. Dushik. One day, I will kill you. After that, you completely disappeared. It's been over 10 years now since we last met. You slimy bastard, you. You slimy no good scoundrel. You slimy no good scoundrel. Horrible. Just horrible. You. I'm gonna get out of this. Eden, you're taking your precious time here. I'm just be real to you. You are taking your precious fucking time. Where's your instant transfer? Inst instant transmission when you need it, huh? Where is it? Where is it? That's it for today's video, though, man. I hope you guys enjoy. You did make sure to drop a like, sub to the channel. Let me know what you guys think about everything that happened in the comment section below. Also, you guys want to keep up with me, Twitch, Twitter, Discord links, all of that is in the description as well. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace.